Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna explain to you guys how to bank cybersecurity in South Africa in 2025. Uh, my name is Sia, I'm a security analyst. I've been in cybersecurity for about what, two, three years now, so actually not that long. But uh, I'm explaining to you how exactly to bring cybersecurity as I've done so myself. I've seen other people do it and I've helped other people bring cybersecurity the same way. Um, I'm a teacher out of breaking to uh, more of a blue team um, context. Um, it's, I think it's not much easier, but it's a way more popular way to get cybersecurity. And then from there, you can pivot uh, within other domains such as engineering, um, GRC, or if you want to stay within the SOC. So it's really up to you. Um, so yeah, if you want to take a look at my profile, you can just add me there, connect, just talk about this DM. Uh, we can be cyber buddies. Um, and then this little document I created. Um, the things you're going to need, uh, first of all, is a laptop um, to do the task, basically. You're going to need Wi-Fi, data, or internet connection. Then you're going to need to dedicate I'd say at least two hours every day. So maybe you can do one hour in the morning, one hour in the evening, or 30 minutes every four hours, or you'll figure it out. Um, do you need a degree? No, um, but it's very nice if you have one. Obviously, if you have a degree in IT, um, degree in cybersecurity, degree, a degree in computer science, computer engineering, anything like that, right? So that's a very nice thing to have. Um, but for my method, I'm going to focus more on skills based, um, you know, focus more on the skills that will get you into the role rather than the qualifications. Um, but we do have certifications within this pathway. I'm just going to delve deep into those now. Um, so don't get too hyper fixated on the certifications. A certification just proves or just validates the theory or the skills that you have. Um, it doesn't guarantee you a job. It doesn't guarantee a promotion, okay? It's just to validate your skills and to convey those skills to potential employers, recruiters, or hiring managers, right? So the first one, this is the easiest one, it's called the ISS grade, certified within cybersecurity. Um, it's free. After you write the exam, you have 12 months to pay the membership fee, which is about a thousand rand, so not too bad, right? And then the next one is the most foundational, the most important um, certification uh, you need is the CompTIA Security Plus. It is a bit expensive, 3.2K, but it's uh, definitely worth it. Um, yeah, it'll take you around. So the first one will take you around maybe a, a month or so, like if you really dedicate a lot of time to it. And then the second one is CompTIA Security Plus, which is a bit more advanced. Um, that'll take you a, a couple months really, depending on how much you, time you dedicate to it. If you guys want me to create a video on how to pass each new um, test, yeah, I can do that, give you some tips, give you some resources. There's no stress. Then the third one is the Cisco Junior Cyber Analyst Pathway. Um, so that is a cybersecurity um, learning pathway by Cisco. Very, very brilliant, very underrated. So it's my first um, sort of learning pathway within to getting into cyber. It's free. It's um, they focus a lot on networking, but you need networking is a uh, foundational skill within cybersecurity. And then the next one is TriAcme SOC Level One. So TriAcme is a learning platform um, in which you can use to um, learn cybersecurity. So they do blue teaming, um, red teaming, purple teaming, right? And it's a very very large community, and they release um, something called Room. So basically, a room is basically like a learning module uh, so, um, that surrounds a specific topic. So this is my, this is my account. Um, you can go follow me if you'd like. Um, I've completed 272, 272 rooms. This is my rank in the world, top 1%. Um, got your dashboard here. So they have like nice learning pads for you guys. It's very user friendly. Um, you should do the pre-security, cybersecurity 101, and SOC level one, right? That's, uh, that'll teach you most of the foundational skills that you need. So it's very hands-on, very skills-based. So to me, this is way better than a certification, knowing how to use the tools, 
um, knowing which tools to use and having hands-on experience with it. Um, and the other one you can do is a security engineer pathway. So if you do these two, security engineer, SOC level one, will be more than good enough for your first role, your internship or level one role. Um, I think they do have a certification, but that's a bit more expensive, so we'll leave that for now. Um, they have a SOC simulator, so you can simulate real world events um, in a SOC environment. Um, yeah, so you just go explore this platform. Um, they have weekly leaderboards, weekly leads. Let me see where I'm at today. So it looks like I'm top 10 this month and 22nd within the country. So I have a long way to go. Um, yeah, I mean, it's like a really cool platform. You should be here every day. This way you should live, you know, and just try and do a room a day. If you can do more, do more. If you can't, um, then don't. But yeah, it's a really, really cool platform. I honestly think it's the best platform um, to learn cybersecurity. Um, yeah, getting great, getting great hands-on skills. But let me not talk too much about this. Um, but yeah, love that platform. Subscription for a premium subscription, yet it's around two fifty per month. I honestly, think it's worth the investment. Um, if you want to complete SOC level one and the security engineer pathway, it will take you about let's just say four months. So that will be two fifty times four, which is around a thousand rand. If you want to get the annual subscription for twelve months, uh, it's two point two k. Okay, so go do that. Um, but there are three modules. I think they're around mm, 300, um, three, not modules, three rooms. Um, so yeah, you don't necessarily need one, but it's definitely a nice to have. And then going into cloud, you can either go for the AZ900 or the AWS Cloud Practitioner. So cloud security is a big uh, domain within, uh, yeah, within cybersecurity, sorry. So you can either go for uh, focus more on the Azure base side or the AWS side, or you can just do both. It's up to you, but this will teach you basic foundational um, cloud skills, right? And then to calculate the total cost of all of these. So if you were to do the IC squared, pay the 1,000, do the Computer Security Plus, pay the 3.2K, um, do the SOC level one for four months, um, that's a thousand rand and then do the AZ900 and the AWS Cloud Practitioner, which is the 800 plus the 1.8K that'll come out to 7.8. So that's like the maximum, I would say, cost for that. If you have more money than you do, you can go watch Udemy courses or Coursera, right? So you can go do that. And then once that's done, um, you should look at projects. So basic beginner projects, you do one cybersecurity project, you do one cloud project, and then a bit more advanced, you can do one DevOps slash advanced project. Um, DevSecOps is just uh, securing the pipeline. So um, making sure that all software lifecycle uh, is secured, you know. So you can go look at that. And then after that, you need to touch on the networking aspect, networking aspect. Um, so I wish I did a bit more of this when I started, um, but yeah, I guess you, you learn, but this is great to connect with other cyber professionals, um, recruiters, hiring managers, things like that, right? Um, try to, try to attend at least two events a month. Um, most of them are free. You just have to travel there and just, yeah, just meet other people and make a cyber buddy. Okay. And then try to find a mentor. Um, this is a game changer. Put that there in brackets. Try to find someone who's done it before or who has like a similar background to you or who you want to emulate. Maybe just take them out for like a coffee or lunch or something. Just talk to them um, and then just listen to their advice, you know, because those people are probably taking time out of their busy, busy schedule to come give you advice and come into you, right? So. Um, that is uh, a very, very important step. Uh, yeah, I've had a lot of mentors within uh, my career and I still do currently. Um, 
you know, I've had a mentor online, a mentor at work, a mentor um, in person, right? So try to find uh, a mentor if you can. Um, and then reach 500 connections on LinkedIn. So this is just to increase your visibility, um, connect with 500 uh, cyber security professionals, right? It's not that hard. Um, you just go here, just go to my network. Oh, sh what did I do? My network, and then as you can see, LinkedIn recommends to you connections. I'm sorry if any of these people are watching, but you can just connect with them easily, one, two, three. They'll respond to you, and then maybe just reach out to them, say, hey, I like your profile. Do you have any advice, or are you based in this and that? Can you have like a call, or you know, take their number, or just meet up with them? Uh, most people are quite helpful in that aspect, so try to do that. Um, and then your knowledge base, listen to one cybersecurity podcast daily, so the CyberWire, which provides news and industry updates, and then the cybersecurity, cybersecurity sim simplified, so they just discuss basic topics, and then there's Darknet Diaries, so they give like cool, entertaining stories. Same thing with um, it's called Hacker. I forget the name, but I'll link it down below. And then next topic: Watch five cybersecurity videos daily. So, so any um video based around cybersecurity, right? Uh, I'm sure you guys spend like two or three hours on TikTok and YouTube, so you can watch five cybersecurity videos. Um, there are a lot of content creators. Just 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 go research there, um, and then just read one cybersecurity article just to keep up with the industry news. Um, so all of this is free. Uh, most of this is free except for maybe certain events and um, linking up with your mentor. So that's free. The cloud projects or the, the cyber projects, mostly free as well. And then the next section would be the jobs, right? I'll say apply to minimum two jobs a day. This is once you've polished up your CV. Um, you probably, if you want me to look at your CV or if you want us to work together to look at your CV, um, just shoot me a DM on LinkedIn. But you're gonna target um, these specific roles, security analyst, SOC analyst, any internships, any security engineer, cloud security or cyber security roles in general, right? And then um, you can apply to jobs all over South Africa, uh, mainly Cape Town or Joburg. Um, to be fair, the rest of the country doesn't really matter. This is where the jobs are, Cape Town and Joburg. Um, yeah, we can argue about that in the comments. And then the four platforms you're gonna use are, are LinkedIn, Glassdoor. This is a very, very underrated resource. I mean, under, underrated platform. So yeah, I've got my last two jobs, uh, PNET, and indeed, so in this order, number one is LinkedIn, um, number two is Glassdoor, and then it goes on like that. So that's like the basic, basic simplified way on how to get into cybersecurity, right? And if you wanna join like a community of people, um, community of young ambitious people trying to break, in, break into cybersecurity, just um, shoot me a DM on LinkedIn, and you know, I can, we can talk about how we can help you reach your career goals. Um, and then after this video, obviously you can leave a like and comment, create your free Triacme account. And then there's another resource I want to give you guys for free. Um, let me just type it in here quickly. Does roadmap.sh. So this is a um, free cybersecurity roadmap. So it literally explains all topics, or let's just say not all, maybe like 80% of topics within cybersecurity um, touches on the platforms, the certifications, the fundamental IT skills, um, you know, networking, cloud, uh, rare teaming, threat hunting, forensics, MFA, cyber kill chain, cryptography, attack types, um, compliance standards, uh, yeah programming skills, just touching on everything you need. Um, once you go into, let's just say, let's just look at the, uh, let's pick one quickly. If we go into 
Did you say Cyber Kill Chain? It'll add the resources there that are free, so you can just go watch a video, or you can link to that article over there. Uh, mine is just grayed out because, like, I've read most of these um, topics, so yeah, that's why it's grayed out. But you should go look at that, and then yeah, once you're done with that, then I think once you're done with reading. <laughs> everything here because there's actually like quite a lot to read i mean they give like a basic description you know and then they still give you like other articles and videos sometimes they give you quizzes as well so it's a really really great resource i don't think many people even know about this and then there's another one that i wanted to show you guys it's called the paul jeremy certification roadmap so this is for cyber security this is more around certifications so this explains to you where each and every cybersecurity certification um we under which domain each cybersecurity certification lies um and then it provides a link and a cost um so for example here's the security plus right there at the bottom um so that falls under security and risk management and then you have other exams like Let's see, let's see, let's see. Here's the CC free exam. So if, yeah, you can see in cybersecurity, there's like probably over 500 certifications, but there's only a few that really matter. Um, I will make another video breaking down um, the most important certifications. Um, but for now, just try and get these five. Well, maybe not five, one, two, three, four, five or six or so. Uh, these are the foundationals and these are all you need really to get into cyber and as long as you focus on getting the skills here and yeah then you'll be good and then in the private mentorship group um, we give the resources to pass all these exams and other resources we give uh, you know we notify people of events surrounding them um, we do CV reviews LinkedIn reviews interview preps um, we do like daily challenges and we give out prizes as well. So it's a really, really cool community to be proud of. If you want to be a part of that, just shoot me a DM on LinkedIn. And then for now, that's all I have for you. If, if you have anything else to say, just leave a comment. Um, please like the video and till next time. Thank you.